Science, Technology and Innovation Policy How are science and technology used outside research? This question is particularly relevant in light of Europe 2020, a strategy to bring Europe out of the economic crisis, which aims to increase the proportion of GDP spent on research and development from 2 to 3%. This is an issue for STOA, the Parliamentary Science and Technology Options Assessment Body, which provides independent scientific advice to the European Parliament. STOA examines the relationship between science and society, including how research can foster innovation. This focus on innovation has led to work on intellectual property rights. Scientific advice is vital for policymakers. STOA's 2011 study, Technology Across Borders, examined technology assessment bodies which advise parliaments on emerging technologies. They do not always find it easy, however, to get the attention of parliamentarians, even those working in corresponding policy areas. There are obstacles impeding cooperation. Scientists and policymakers speak different languages. Technology assessment bodies often produce long reports for politicians already facing great pressure on their time, which does not facilitate collaboration. The study suggested that pan-European cooperation could allow transnational issues like global warming to be tackled more efficiently. STOA has explored pan-European cooperation as a member and co-founder of EPTA, the European Parliamentary Technology Assessment Network, established in 1990. A September 2011 conference on pan-European parliamentary technology assessment brought together colleagues from Finland, the Netherlands, Catalonia, Germany and Austria. Also involved was PESITA, Parliaments and Civil Society in Technology Assessment, a European-funded project seeking a pan-European perspective, focusing on genomics, aging, and sustainability. The impact of research could be better evaluated. Currently, international comparisons are difficult, as countries use different measures to evaluate research. STOA's 2014 study on science metrics suggested developing a European Research Information e-infrastructure for collecting and making available research performance data, sitting on top of national research information systems. Evaluating research can be hard if it does not seem directly applicable to the real world. STOA's May 2013 workshop, How to Retain European Leadership in Particle Physics, highlighted the value of basic research, which does not bring obvious immediate benefits, but expands the frontiers of knowledge. The workshop emphasized the need to foster relations with Europe's rivals in particle physics, Japan and America, and the practical benefits of basic research, like developing new technologies and training scientists and engineers. Europe should increase the value placed on creativity and collaboration in education so that today's learners can solve tomorrow's problems. Technology will be an enabler rather than the solution. This was suggested in an April 2014 workshop on new learning and teaching technology options, forming part of STOA's foresight efforts to consider long-term developments in science and technology. STOA's 2011 study on copyright in the EU found that a global single digital market increasingly exists for consumers, but companies have to comply with different national regulations. The long-term goal should be a unified European copyright system. If you want to find out more, please visit our website. STOA is now looking forward to continuing to serve European policymaking during the 8th parliamentary term.